So just a note for this daily video update. Um, I had recorded an update with uh, our music director, Dr. Bob Fusen, um, for today. It appears that there was a problem with the video file. However, the audio file uh, is still intact. So uh, apologies for the black screen. You'll have to imagine um, Bob and I chatting together about music in the sanctuary. What's today's date? It's the 21st. 21st. All right. This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, May 21st, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'm here with Dr. Bob Fusen, who is our music director here at the church. Um, yesterday, we announced a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and, uh, and one of the things that, uh, that we said in the midst of that long, long um, uh, announcement was, we're working on music and, and we'll have more detail for you. Uh, going forward. So I don't think we have any formal announcements, um, but um, Bob, what, where are kind of your thoughts right now on music? Well, that's an interesting question. Uh, the main thing that we're thinking about is congregational singing because that's very important to any church, but singing is one of those things that spreads a lot of aerosols and having, you know, even 50 people in this room all pointed at you singing full voice is a little bit of an issue. So. Uh, we're looking at guidance from my professional organization, the Association of Unitarian Universalist Music Ministry, the American Choral Directors Association, the National Association of Teachers of Singing, just to see what they recommend. And they have some pretty good uh, guidelines for reopening and congregational singing and choir singing and things like that. So we have a pretty good plan moving forward. We just need to see how it works with this space. There's some things we still need to check out, like ventilation and, and things like that. But rest assured, we want to make sure that when Oscar is up here, there's not 200 people blasting aerosols in his face um, in a way that, that is not sanitary. Yeah. So, so other than the whole congregation singing, what are some of the things? I know you and I have talked about a couple different possibilities for other ways to get music involved in services. Yeah, I think the main thing is that they recommend is congregational humming, which sounds a little bit odd, um, kind of like maybe a Garrison Keillor book. But uh, it does work. It is effective. It does get people involved. Uh, one of the things they recommend is having a vaccinated soloist sing, and so we're exploring that option. Um, most likely with Julie Anderson seeing those. And then another option is to just let instrumental music play and not have anyone singing hymns or to play the videos we've already made where we have choir members who are singing. So we have some options. I know people are anxious to get back to singing and participating, but we want to make sure we do that as safely as possible. Perfect. So we'll have more detail about this in the coming weeks and months, certainly. Um, but, uh, but that gives, us, gives you a sense of where we are right now. Um, there's a lot of moving pieces this week, but, uh, but I know I'm excited that it's Friday, so I'm going to uh, wrap up here and go home pretty quick and then take the next 24 hours off. One thing that we are doing that will change a little bit musically is, and we kind of discussed a little bit, is we're going to be playing some music as people enter and leave right. the service now. And I know that doesn't have anything to do with singing, but um, it'll be a little bit um, different than what we're used to. And just be flexible and, and be open to that. We're going to have some, some really nice stuff playing on Sunday morning. It won't be thrash metal or anything. It'll be nice and relaxing. <laughs> right, because two weeks ago it was, it was a local composer. You know? It was a local composer yeah. named Philip Zach, who's an accompanist uh, for LPS. He accompanies middle school choirs, I believe. But he's a, a great composer and piano player, and he has these kind of ambient, new agey piano albums that are just gorgeous. And so um, he's on Spotify and everywhere. Philip Zach, uh, check him out. He's local and he's great. And I'm hoping we can get him in as a guest musician at some point. For sure. All right. Well, I think that's it for the update today. So we will see you um, see you on Sunday. There are still spots as of 1 o'clock this afternoon. There are still spots open if you want to register and, and come in person on Sunday. We will see you then. Otherwise, I'll see you on the live stream on Monday. We'll all be here. Um, have a great weekend. And kick the camera off. That's a good way to end. Well, that way they know it's... <laughs>